first look at a product, you notice that there are three buttons. You have the Add to Cart, the Add to Wish List, and the Add to Compare. And if you notice here at the very top, you have the Shopping Cart. So let's say someone wants to add something to their cart. Once they click, an item is automatically added to their cart. It gives this pop-up screen so they can continue uh, shopping or they can check out. So click on Continue Shopping. Come to the next item. Add to cart. You get the same message. Continue shopping. All right, so we're gonna add those two there for now. And if you scroll up, you notice that those items have been added to the cart. So when you click that, you see the two items that has been added to the cart. They can click on each item to continue to check out, or they can just click, you know, check out. So what we want to do now is you want to click on Add to Compare. Add to Compare. You get this pop up screen. Just X click this X at the bottom. Add to Compare, the second one. And then you click the X off at the, the bottom. And then you want to add one more. Okay, so now you want to click on uh, your product comparison. Click on that. And what it does is it pull a comparison. Sometimes when people are shopping, it allows them to see how each product is compared to each other. So they can be able to check out the price. They can check out the ratings. They can check out the descriptions, their weight, and whatever what other fields that you have here. So these allow them so people can be able to see, okay, I like this feature for this one over this one. It would allow people to be able to make the right choices. So the compare uh, part of it comes in really, really handy. Now let's go back to the camera section again. And if they want to add to the wish list, they can click add to wish list. And then if they go to, you know, to go there, they'll get a login message. In order for someone to be able to see their wish list, they have to log in. So once they've created an account, um, then they, of course, can be able to log in. We'll take a look at that later. But as you can see, the add to compare feature um, and add to cart is really accessible. So when people add stuff to their, their cart, they can be able to access it immediately. Now, I know that you may want to add the description for each category. If you notice here, you have the camera, you don't have anything else here. So if you want to add a description for that, let me show you. From the dashboard, you go to categories and you pick the particular category you want to add something for. And we are going to add just a basic description. All right, so here's the cameras. Let's put in. Okay, that's the description. That's what we need. All right, so save. Now, once we refresh this, we should have a description next to the item. Okay, so the description we just added it shows up right here. So let's go back here again. And the great thing about this too is, if you want to add, if you want to link this, you can create links for it. I'm not sure exactly what I mean. If you wanted to link this, you can link it to an, you know, a, a different page or a different website or. Let's refresh this. Reload. So there you have it. You have this link there, and you have also, you know, the description part of it.
So once again, the goal of creating an online store is you want for something that's very easy so that people are not frustrated trying to compare or add stuff to their cart. Once they've added things to their cart, they can add it to their wish list. And once they've created an account with you, they can be able to go back there and make those uh, purchases.